Well, hey, YouTube. Good morning. Jerry here, out for another little hunt. Hope everybody had a nice, happy, merry Christmas. I did. And uh, it was very fun. And um, hope you guys had the same. So I wanted to discuss a little new idea of mine that seems to be working really well. Since I live in the south, all over the area, there's these things they call flea markets. Well, what a flea market is, is it's basically a clean, happy building. Heating and air conditioning and all that stuff. We can rent a space for a 50 to to $100 a month. And you can sell your things, your used stuff, your old stuff, your new stuff, whatever you want. There's no restrictions. So, as you know, I clean and skin and dry and tan all the hides that I've the animals I kill and stuff the heads. So, got this idea. My wife has a booth in one of these flea markets where she sells jewelry. So, I rented a booth, loaded it up with my couple of scopes that I have that I don't use, and all my coon skins and deer skin and squirrel skins and the heads and a bunch of feet that I turned to squirrel feet that I turned into keychains and a couple of my cigar box guitars just you know stuff and lo and behold I've been selling the coon skins for 35 bucks a piece and the squirrel skins for 20 bucks a piece um, so guys I'm using my money to buy new air guns and I know some of you guys don't have a lot of money. Oh, I got a squirrel in sight right now. And I thought, man, what a great idea to share. What the heck is going on here? Oh, my fucking mags out of, out of shots. I thought, what a great idea to share with my YouTube community, guys. You know, um, you guys can... Uh, Hang on, I gotta change bags. I thought I had a full mag and an empty, and then it'll be an empty bag. You guys could uh, do the same thing, make a little extra cash. You know, I egg tan all the hides. It's not a big deal. I don't know where he went. He was in that tree there. I think I have a little trill, little squirrel nest up in there somewhere. But you guys can tan these hides yourself. And um, put them into one of the flea markets. And like I said, it's a month-to-month -month thing. You don't need any a large amount of money. You give them 50 bucks or 75 bucks or whatever the place is. 25 bucks, some of them. And uh, make a display. And you'd be surprised how many people go in and are touchy-feely with these animals. The squirrel heads. I even have my... I call it my MRE, used MRE. It's a stuffed squirrel. And uh, every time I go in there, this thing's been moved around. People love touching it. And like I said, I got 35 bucks of coon skin. And I just egg tan them. And egg tanning is basically you skin the animal, you dry the skin, stretch it, and dry it with salt. It takes a few days. And then after it's dried, you take egg yolk, beat it up, and rub egg yolk into it, and uh, let it sit another couple days, and you're done. At that point, you can either break the hide, which is basically stretching the hide over a chunk of wood or whatever, and that'll make it soft, which I do sometimes. I've done a couple of coon skins and a couple of squirrels and a rabbit. <clears throat> Or not. It's up to you. Anyway, I don't. The ones I've sold are just hard skins that are egg tanned. And uh, like I said, <laughs> I get 35 bucks a piece for them. So Chris Gillum, if you're if you're listening, I, I got that note from you that said you couldn't uh, live on $8 or whatever it is for coon skins. <laughs> yeah, but I get 35 bucks a piece for them. So it might be an easy way to make a few extra bucks, guys. You know, it's what we do anyway. You know, all the squirrel assassins. And, uh, 
you know, might be a good way to make a few extra bucks. I'm sure James would shoot to kill outdoors. Might be something of interest to you too, James. I know you're on a rich guy. And uh, by the way, shoot to kill outdoors. Great channel, you guys. Sub to him if you haven't already. And Chris Gillum, that's another one. Sub to him. If you guys haven't already, watch him. He's a licensed trapper. And does some really good videos. And shoot to kill outdoors. Um, <clears throat> he shoots air guns. And once in a while, powder rifles. Shameful things as they are. Um... Sub to him. And you guys, Chris and James, I hope you guys uh, mention my channel periodically like I do yours. <laughs> I'm hitting uh, 265 subs. I, that's the most I've seen. To me, that seems like a lot. It's kind of weird. Um, I've seen that one squirrel, but I think that squirrel's got a nest in this tree. And... I'm kind of shy on shooting the females right now. And I can tell, if you hunt enough and you're in the same area, you can tell the males from the females. And for those of you who don't know and can't tell, inevitably, if you see a squirrel in a tree and it sees you or hears you, if it runs off as fast as it can run, nine out of ten times, that's the male. The females are more protective, and what they'll do is they'll hang out, and the males try and get your attention, and they'll bolt. So, I shoot the males more than I shoot the females, and I have a pretty good track record of it, because I know. I see a dang woodpecker up there. I'm so tempted to shoot him. I just, uh, somebody wrote me and told me that woodpeckers are protected. Not that I give a crap, but we raise macaws, so I'm kind of a bird lover, and so, as dumb as it sounds, that was just a reason to stop shooting them. They hit my house, they get shot, but I've been kind of leaving them alone. So, I got that Hang Young PCP high pressure air compressor. For 178 bucks on uh, eBay, I mean on uh, Walmart, pardon me. And uh, man, it's killer. It's a really solid, really good piece of equipment, guys. Now they're out of them; it's, they're not in stock right now at 178 bucks. But they have them for 225 bucks. Still a good deal. And uh, if you guys got PCPs, <laughs> the heck with pumping them up with hand pumps. Huh? I'm sorry. That about killed this old man. So, don't be doing that one if you don't have to. So, what else? I don't know what else I can tell you about. Oh, we're not at war with North Korea yet, as y'all know. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's pretty funny. Hey, there's a, another channel that I kind of watch. It's called Think Like a Cop. And, uh, guys, check this channel out. This guy, his name is Rick. He is funny. I'm telling you. He did one this morning. You just got to laugh. They're all funny. He does a lot of... What he does is he finds videos. He's an ex-cop. And he finds police videos. And then he reviews them. And then he puts reposts them with his comments in them. And I'll tell you what... I, almost every time I get a laugh at him. Some of them not so much. But then he does gun reviews too. I guess he's got quite a few rifles and pistols. and you know, like the rest of us. So. Oh, I've seen that one dumb squirrel. And that's it. And we're getting a little bit of snow today. Right now. There's a whole bunch of starlings. Buzzing around up there. It's starting to snow right now. So, we're going to get a little snowstorm today. Just a little tiny bit of snow in the air. 
but I couldn't resist, cold fingers or not. I'm gonna take a walk and see what we got. I'm gonna go out hunting a few times today. I like hunting when it snows. The animals, it's easy to follow them because if the squirrels are running around in the trees, they're knocking snow off. So it's a little easier to follow them. And if uh, they're on the ground, as in coons, possums, armadillos, then uh, you can follow their tracks. So my wife wants me to, um, <clears throat> we're gonna go up in the hills on Monday or Tuesday. Since we sold <laughs> the coon skins and the squirrel skins so readily, I, I only have a few more to sell. Um, and we've had all this freezing weather. Everything is frozen solid around here. We're going to go and look for some roadkill. Recent roadkill. What the hell is that? I think it's a bird. Yeah. And uh, possums, coons. I might do an armadillo head. I haven't decided on that one yet. I haven't tried doing an armadillo head. I have no interest in doing the armadillo, but the head might be interesting. And uh, so we're going to go and see if we can ravage up some things that I haven't killed to skin. We'll see how that works out. I have uh, somebody that I watch, Peter Woods. He's where I've picked up the taxidermy stuff. And um, are those sparrows? Ooh. And he... Uh, I got a sparrow in the road. He, um, where did it go? Oh, I guess it flew off. Oh, there he is right there on the sparrows. Yep. And one down. And, uh, anyway. He does not kill animals. He only, um, I think I've seen another one, picks up road kills. And um, stuffs them. Kind of respectable. He has a good attitude that way. And so my wife said, Maybe I should be doing the same thing once in a while to increase our store stuff. Yeah, I gotta. I know that's a damn um, a sparrow in that bush. Oh, I don't see him now. Of course, you know you don't see him when you're looking through the scope. But um, so we're gonna try that and see how that goes. Also today, later on, I'm going to do the 2,000 shot review on my Crawl Arms Puncher Breaker. I've hit over 2,000 shots, and it, uh, <laughs> it this gun has gotten too accurate. At 50 yards, I'm doing hole-in-hole -hole shots now. Actually, it's 58 yards. I'm doing hole-in-hole -hole shots. So, <clears throat> this gun has gotten phenomenal. I tell everybody, you know, you should buy one of these. This is the best gun on the market, I think, for um, what it is. I'm pushing over 1,000 FPS, more like 1,100 with 14 threes. But with the 22 TS-22 Gammos, I'm shooting at about 1,000, give or take. And uh, there's no way that I, I mean the gun shoots better than I do so well guys that's about it for me um, like I said I'll be doing another video this afternoon for uh, the 2000 shot review on this gun and um, <clears throat> you know a good gun for about 500 bucks give or take a little this is it okay well 
Have a good one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, talk to you later. I'm gone. And I know it's not Merry Christmas with you guys. Um, have a real safe New Year's Eve. Watch out for all the drunks, especially the ones that don't belong in this country. Um, there's a few of them out there, as we all know. Have a good afternoon.